very yeah. clear very okay. good okay so thank you again uh, my my background is mostly in the western medicine so i spent seven years in medical school in china and for half a year we had a course on tcm so we learned some basic acupuncture and herbs knowledge in, in even in the western medical school in china and i was very interested in acupuncture and uh, I, I remember I during that uh, winter break, I didn't go home directly. I stayed in the acupuncture clinic in our hospital to help uh, my teacher to do acupuncture to learn more. So I started to do some uh, to started to puncture myself and my father for some uh, simple ailments. But after uh, after I graduated from the medical school, I started to like focus on more at the, the surgical the western medicine practice the surgical knowledge and the techniques more so we did surgery almost every day so really busy so rarely we use tcm uh, methods but uh, occasionally we will call the tcm acupuncturist or herbalist from our tcm department in our, in our hospital to see our uh, post-operative patients for some conditions such as like bowel movements and the rehab, uh, we, because we know the benefits of acupuncture and the TCM, even even though we don't know um, the the theory, right? But we still in China we have the uh, culture environment to to trust TCM uh, the benefits. So. Uh, that, that that's it. So I, I don't really have a really deep knowledge and, and also techniques of acupuncture and I have li very little knowledge of herbs. So I think the audience knows more uh, about uh, TCM, acupuncture and herbs than me. So uh, you can share your knowledge, experience, opinions throughout this seminar. So uh, w whenever you have a question or opinion or experience to share, you can just uh, type in the chat, and I can pause and uh, to discuss. Um, to me, uh, because I see many new graduates here, a uh, new graduated acupuncturist, and uh, uh, one problem is we see everyone as a patient. Everyone has some disease. So I think before we look, uh, try to understand the diseases, we should understand and think about uh, what is health first. Uh, and then, because after, in the beginning of my practice too, I focused on the you know, clinical techniques, uh, surgical techniques. But uh, after I practiced for some years, I start to think more and, and understand more about health and the disease uh, life and death so that helps you know you how you uh, uh, communicate and help the patients um, I think besides uh, spiritual and mental health uh, nutrition and exercise is really a foundation for health and because I teach a nutrition program in my college so I want to share a little bit uh, the information about the natural nutrition uh, <coughs> here and uh, after that uh, I can share some experience I I use moxa therapy a lot in my clinic and also uh, the ideas why I start doing uh, TCM in um, after all those years of uh, Western medicine practice so and that's my uh, two strategies to promote CCM practices in North America. So uh, I hope you can share your opinion and uh, uh, your inputs in uh, throughout this uh, seminar. So I really like the more interactive way of communication uh, than uh, just monologue by myself. Uh, 
you know, sometimes TCM practitioners and the Western medicines they don't really underst understand each other. Uh, but in the field of nutrition, a lot of concepts uh, they are aligned. They they are the same, and uh, the textbooks I use to teach the nutrition is actually based on Western medicine, right? but uh, written by a Western medicine doctor and a nutritionist. But they still uh, use some of the TCM theories, and uh, and also holistic approach. So when they uh, give advice, a uh, nutritional advice to their patients. I think after you have um, knowledge on nutrition, it's very helpful to help the patients to correct their lifestyle, their diet, uh, to have a really uh, better long-term uh, health benefit. So the Right now, the ideal diet, we recommend the four more uh, categories of food. So one type is uh, fre uh, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and also uh, whole grains and legumes. Legumes is beans and peas. Whole grain is uh, and then protein and uh, fats or oils. Uh, for vegetarians, uh, the protein and the fats uh, can come from nuts and seeds. 就是坚果类和种子类的, for omnivores, so for, uh, 就是杂食的人呢, 可以, the protein comes mostly from the uh, animal food, milk, eggs, and the meats. But also, the whole greens and legumes contain a lot of protein too. So that's why I, uh, we really recommended 60%. 60% of our uh, calories come from this category, whole greens and legumes. And then uh, eat not that much of uh, nuts or meats. But in North America, the diet is like the, the other way around. People eat a lot of meat, uh, milk, dairy, food, and eggs, and not enough vegetables, uh, the whole greens, and the legumes. <coughs> so that's the new uh, ideal diet. And uh, there are 10 key components of a healthy diet. and we can see those uh, principles is the same for TCM theory or Western medicine nutritional theory. It has, has to be natural foods. Uh, it means we don't want to eat too much processed food or artificial uh, additives. And then we want to eat seasonal foods, right? Like based on TCM theory in the spring or summer, we want, we want eat the seasonal foods available, the local seasonal foods, so 应季的, 应季的食物. and fresh, fresh foods, not uh, processed, not overcooked, <laughs> and nutritious food. Uh, nutritious food means they have a lot of uh, vitamins, minerals, uh, amino acids, uh, essential fatty acids, and also phytonutrients in those food, not just calories. 就是营养的食物呢，它应该含有很多的维生素、矿物质啊，呃，必保必须的脂肪酸呐、氨基酸呐，还有很多的植物营养素，就phytonutrients、植物营养素对健康很重要，而不是说只有calorie、calorie。A lot of food like fast food, uh, refined flour, uh, potatoes, they are we we call them uh, and also breads, we call them empty calories. They only have calories and not much nutrition in it. <coughs> and they are cheap, but it's not really good for our health. And the clean foods means uh, no contamination right, uh, from the environment. And also, because eating is an uh, enjoyable uh, experience, so we want the food to be tasty and appealing. 
and they so uh, we need to do spend time and energy in, in cooking and make it tasty and healthy. And the variety and rotation, we uh, I think a lot of people, especially for the senior uh, or elder people, they only eat uh, certain uh, a certain uh, type of foods. So they don't have enough variety in the in the category of foods, and within each category, they don't have enough variety of uh, different food. For example, vegetables, they don't eat a lot. A lot of people don't eat uh, many different vegetables. We just eat a few types of vegetables uh, every day, and <coughs> same to the other uh, like meats, dairy, eggs, right? It's uh, so one problem is we won't have enough uh, nutrition from like uh, just a certain amount of food, and over the time we may develop sensitivity or allergy to if we eat uh, just a few food over a long time, especially for children. So we want to rotate rotate the food to let our body clear clean clean up. Uh, the residues of old food, and then uh, to have a, uh, to have a cleaner inner environment. So ro ro food rotation is really important, especially for people and the children with allergies uh, <coughs> and uh, like behavioral problems. We want to eliminate, help the the body to eliminate by rotating uh, our foods. And the food combi combining, uh, again, we need uh, uh, many, many nutrients from our food. We cannot just eat one or a few type of food. For example, here, uh, we know greens, whole greens and the legume, they don't, alone, they don't, have com uh, they don't have complete amino acids, right? 就是谷物和豆类的, but if we combine green and legumes in our diet, we can have a complete uh, amino acids uh, for our health. So, if it's a green combination, it will ensure that all the amino acids can be satisfied. So, we want to combine uh, different food. Right. So, we may combine a, a little bit uh, dairy uh, milk with vegetables and. Uh, Greens. Like for me, I eat a handful of nuts or seeds every day, a uh, little bit here, and uh, not much. Uh, I don't think much dairy food or milk, and eat one egg a day and uh, some meat. Uh, so, most of the diet should come from the plants, <coughs> and even though some food is very nutritious and tasty, we still should eat them in moderation, uh, we don't want to eat uh, one food too much. So uh, in, in, the, uh, in terms of the amount uh, and also the uh, variety of food we eat in moderation, that's um, basically TCM philosophy, right? <coughs> and the balance. Uh, balance is a philosophy of TCM too. So we want to balance between the category of foods and uh, also the percentage. As I said, 60% 60, 60 should uh, come from greens and legumes, uh, not from the meat. Uh, usually we eat too much meat here. So uh, in terms of balance, here I want to talk about, uh, give two examples here. So one concept is the acid and the alkaline balance, <coughs> So when we talk about a uh, uh, food is acid, acidic or alkaline, we're not talking about the food itself, we're talking about the our body's response to the food. For example, uh, even even though a lemon is very acidic, right? But 
our body its response to lemon is we our body inner environment become more alkaline after we eat lemon so lemon is a uh, alkaline alkaline food 柠檬啊，虽然它很酸，但是我们吃了柠檬之后呢，身体呢会变得更碱性。所以说柠檬它是一个碱性的食物。而那么就是呃，so uh, our diet should contain about seventy percent of alkaline food，就是我们的食物里应该有百分之七十呢都是碱性的食物。So it's more healthy. So okay. So, what are the alkaline foods? So most most fruits and vegetables, most fresh fresh fruits and vegetables, are alkaline food, except for cranberry and dried fruits. Ah, 除了这个蔓越蔓越莓和这个苹果果干之外呢，大部分新鲜的水果蔬菜都是碱性的啊。You know, we know cranberry. We use the cranberry juice to prevent UTI, the uh, urinary tract infection, because it makes our urine more acidic. That's why cranberry is an acidic food. Because many vegetables, we know, we can prevent the urinary tract infection because it makes the urine more acidic. So it is still a acidic food. Cranberry. So the acidic food includes uh, milk products like. Milk, cream, uh, yogurt, and uh, butter, and uh, meats, uh, refined flour, white rice, and sugar. So we can see here we don't recommend eat a lot of those food. Those food is not really good for our, our health. Health because they are acidic. Uh, they make our body more acidic. Uh, you know our the pH. Value of our blood is seven point four, so it's a little, uh, it's more alkaline. <coughs> so we should not eat too much, uh, we, because seventy percent should be alkaline, right? So we should avoid those uh, animal food and also refined flour, 就是这个白面啊和白米饭，还有白糖。Uh, they are not only acidic; they are they cause more congestion, more congestion and more inflammation in our body. So when a patient has inflammation or damp, 就是中医讲的湿气或者是炎症 in their body, we should ask the patients to eat less acid food.、Uh, slightly acid, the whole grains, nuts, seeds, they are、uh, slightly acid. And slightly alkaline, because our body uh, is uh, our blood is slightly alkaline, right? Slightly, so those food are quite good. And millet, uh, 小米啊、uh, buckwheat 就是荞麦 corn, almonds, and sprouted seeds 就是这种芽类的豆芽类的菜 The millet and buckwheat, 就小米和荞麦 they have they are actually originated. Uh, in China, 就是 a、uh, for thousands of years, 就这个小米和荞麦都是在中国原产的。Uh, they are good for like Chinese people's health. Ah,、uh, uh, I think in TCM practice we recommend our patient to eat a lot of millet. Even in China, in I remember in the Western Western Medicine Health Hospital, after surgery, we usually ask the patients to. Uh, drink the congee of uh, millets, um, not rice, uh, but the millets, xiaomi. <coughs> so this is, we talk about the balance, right? So this is uh, one co one concept of acid and the alkaline balance uh, for uh, when we recommend the diets. And the other one is balance is yin yang yin yang balance, and TCM. This is a TCM concept. So uh, we need to balance yin and yang, uh, but if the patient has imbalance of yin yang, we should uh, recommend some food to help them to restore the balance. So there are some foods here like yang acid forming food, the yang acid food, 
the greens and all animal foods. They are acid, but they can uh, give more yang qi, more, more yang to our body. And the yang alkaline foods include the pickled food and the salt and soy sauce. 就是这种腌制的食物比较咸的呢，就是阳性的、碱性的食物。and the pickle foods are more young alkaline for me. Uh, in acid foods include uh, candy, soft drinks, uh, those sweets, uh, sugar, alcohol, uh, beans and nuts. A little bit acid, acidic, but also nervous in. Because they are acidic, we cannot eat too much, right? <coughs> and in alkaline foods, I think most people need this uh, in uh, for, for for nowadays a lot of people we need to nourish in and uh, eat more alkaline food so fresh fruits fresh vegetables seeds honey and the coffee so uh, if we want to uh, nourish in to the patients and also uh, reduce the inflammation in, in their body, we can we recommend them to eat more fresh fruits, vegetables, and uh, seeds, and to avo and avoid avoid uh, those acid food like animal food, uh, candy, sugar, alcohol. Right? Yeah. <coughs> that makes sense. So here we can see in the, even it's a medi uh, Western medi med medicine nutrition uh, teaching, but we still use some yin yang balance concepts here <coughs> so it's so we when we talk about the health sometimes we are talking about the the, the, the same thing but with different words different concepts and then we know the you know this is the western textbook but they still use the fire uh, five elements here uh, so we are familiar with those, those concepts, right? Our organs uh, belong to those five elements, and they have uh, so is so, uh, so is the colors and the flavors uh, belongs to different elements, <coughs> and they have different functions. For example, uh, our wood organs, uh, the function is purification and the metabolism. So our fire organs, uh, heart, small intestine, the uh, function is circulation uh, vitalization, uh, vitalization. 就是我们活属性的内脏呢, our earth organs, spleen, stomach, function is digestion distribution, 消化和运化, and our metal organs, like lungs, uh, large intestine, their function are uh, elimination and the mental, which is the emotions. No water organs, kidney, bladder, it for storage and the emotional circulation, which is the emotions and the So we can see the food here. Uh, we, this is a, we categorize those food into uh, the five ca categories based on the uh, the five elements. For example, the wood foods include uh, lemons and citrus, which uh, sauerkraut, which is sauerkraut, uh, pickles, uh, xianchai, uh, uh, vinegars, buttermilk, yogurt, a uh, preserved food. Uh, they are they are wood, they are they have the quality of wood element. And those food has some quality of uh, fire element. Uh, in, uh, in, include a lot of green green vegetables, lettuce, uh, spinach, chard. Salary, right? uh, asparagus, 
they they it's interesting here. I think the herbalists here know more than me, so you can share your ideas here. So uh, if you agree or not, so the, those vegetables belongs to fire. <coughs> they are good for the heart and the small intestine. Good for circulation. It makes sense. Eh? <laughs> and let me see here. If there is. Okay. Um, the earth. Those food like greens, potatoes, carrots, bees, tian cai ya, hou luo ya, squash, good on gua lei ya, dou lei ya, uh, yams, corn, uh, some fruits and uh, sugar cane, ganzhe, honey, milk. Those food are earth uh, elements, so they are good for the spleen and stomach. Right, for good for digestion. Uh, so, you can take a screenshot of this table. I think it's quite helpful. And metal, uh, metal, sorry, metal, uh, metal foods include like onions, those spicy food, onions, garlic, radish, luoba, uh, mustard, cayenne, uh, cayenne is cayenne la jiao, uh, uh, peppers, uh, la jiao, uh, <coughs> so those spicy food are good for uh, our metal organs and uh, uh, the seaweed fi ocean fish and, and those salted food a uh, miso like da, 那个日本大酱汤, uh, soy sauce uh, 酱油, uh, brand foods they belong to to uh, water elements, and they are good for our water uh, organs here. So, uh, I think we can. Uh, every person in has more. Um, every person's configuration is more like one element than others. For example, my uh, body configuration is more water, more water. It's based on, on my birthday, right? So you can, if you look up online, you check your birthday, uh, you you know your your uh, your char your character uh, of your uh, based on the five elements. More, mine is more water. So kidneys is uh, kidney is my strength, and also my uh, it's also uh, my, my vulnerability. So the kidney is both. My kidneys are both uh, strong and vulnerable. So, because I am a water element, so my kidneys are strong and weak. So, I really need to maintain my kidneys. Uh, so, I think I should. I really like seaweed and ocean fish, uh, those food. And because the metal is a matter of water, right? So, I also, uh, you know, when you when we nourish. Uh, the metal we also nourish the water so that's why I think explains I really like to eat onion and the garlic radish those kind of food and pepper I can eat very spicy food uh, 也会也会滋养这个肾啊，肾。嗯，so <coughs> um, we can based on TCM theory or those nutritional theory to recommend some food uh, to each individual to each individual after we we know uh, uh which organ we which element we want to uh, nourish. Okay, so this you can see in the nutrition uh, field. We can use both Western medicine and the TCM uh, medicine theory together. Uh, there is no conflict. No, there is no conflict. They uh, they come all, all, all the way together.
Okay, here the meat belongs to the farm element. For each herb, you know, for I'm not a herbalist. For each herb, uh, I think you can have more uh, experience or knowledge uh, how to use yin yang and the five elements, right? <coughs> uh, because herbal formula, if we use the formula, it's more uh, aggressive and maybe you cannot use for long term because of side effects. But for each, the food are safe. Food is safe, so we can, uh, it's easier and safer for us to recommend. Uh, food therapy to our patients. Meats. Let me see here. Meats, I think uh, they are different because here fish, fish, it belongs to water. And uh, I believe chicken and uh, red meats are different, right? Uh, those for those for chicken and uh, red meats, I don't have an answer here. Some maybe someone can have some uh, inputs. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, chicken is belongs to which uh, element, and uh, like pork and the beef belong to which element? Uh, I don't have an answer here. <laughs> yeah, but they are more. Uh, Young, uh, acidic food, for sure. <coughs> yeah, yeah. In Western uh, nutrition, we still recommend to eat more uh, vegetarian food, so it's also a little bit uh, animal food. So any any questions? Any uh, experience here? Or okay. Yes, good. Yeah, thank you yeah, for yeah. Uh, uh, Melissa. Uh, yeah. the, she said uh, beef, chicken, uh, largely earth, earth sweet category. The ocean fish, 就是海啊，咸咸水鱼、海水鱼 I think it's different from. Uh, from the river fish, 跟淡水鱼、咸水鱼可能还不太一样。咸水鱼它是有盐分的啊，是 more salty. The ocean fish is more salty than the freshwater fish. Yeah. Uh, for people uh with celiac, 就肠胀气，啊、uh, wheat. Wheat 就是小麦，呃、uh, ，because wheat has a problem with gluten， 呃、uh, ，because、um, I think seventeen percent most of the protein in wheat is gluten， so people have celiac usually because of allergy or sensitive to gluten、uh,。Wheat is the main main problem， and also there are also some other grains contain、uh, gluten， for example like the oak oatmeal。嗯、um, ，and the barley， 呃，就是大麦和这个燕麦也是有一定的这谷蛋白啊。我们的小麦，呃，谷蛋白是最多的，所以了很多人吃小麦会肠胀气。So, uh, if, if someone is allergic to gluten, they should avoid wheat, uh, barley and uh, oatmeal. They can eat millet, uh, buckwheat, rice, right? 就是大米、小米呀、啊，还有这个荞麦都是不含这个谷蛋白的。So the the rice, millet, uh, buckwheat don't have gluten.、Uh, they can take those grains as a su as a substitute. Yeah, I I agree with that. Yeah, I also you uh you know suggest people eat、uh, millet. Millet is a very very good one. Yeah, yeah, 小米。小米，啊，小米煮粥啊，小米其实啊，甚至做饭啊，真的挺好的。Right, right. Um, uh, yeah. This is um, uh, before we can look a bit, uh, a bit um, there's a few more questions about the you know the standard. 
standard of dividing yin and yang of those alkaline and acid food groups. Yeah, can you explain a bit, uh, the other one? The this, you know, this yin one? yang and alkaline and yeah. acidity. Yeah, this is this is not my research. This is uh, the textbook <laughs> uh, knowledge. I, I, I just learned from the nutritional textbook. And they, I think some peop, some uh, Western medical doctor did, did some research on those food and then categorized into those uh, four categories. So for example, uh, we know uh, fresh fruits and vegetables nourish in and they make body more alkaline, uh, right? From our TCM knowledge. And we know the f animal food is more young, uh, more young, but uh, but more acid, cause more uh, our body more acidic. So we, that's why we want to balance. Uh, we want to uh, have more yang qi, but we don't want to have too much acid in our body or inflammation. Mm. But also, uh, we know. There are a lot of herbs. We have a lot of herbs uh, uh, that can balance yin and yang. Uh, I don't know uh, if those, those herbs causing more. Uh, maybe they, because they are more vegetables, I think they are more uh, alkaline. Right. So I think the herbs are better than the animal foods here. Oh, the textbook. Uh, I don't have the textbook here. I can, uh, it's a very thick uh, English nutrition textbook that I used to teach in the nutritional uh, uh, program. Yeah, I, I see my office, not um, not in my home. Anything <coughs> here? Yeah. Oh, quinoa too, yeah. Uh, right. Quinoa, I, I just cook, cooked quinoa last night uh, as a main meal. Quinoa is very healthy. Uh, because the greens usually don't contain a complete uh, amount of uh, amino acids, but the quinoa does. Quinoa has uh, is a good re good source of uh, protein and uh, a complete amino acids. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Melissa to share her ex experience. The yeah, food is food therapy and, and diet uh, recommendation is really important part of our practice to help our patients. Uh, for the next topic, I want to talk a lot, a lot, a little bit about the organic foods. So it's a really hot uh, topic recently. Uh, it's also related to everyone's uh, life. Organic means no uh, agricultural chemicals uh, when we harness the, the plants. <coughs> For example, pesticides, fertilizers, no those chemicals. So, organic,就是有机的食物,就是我们在种植的过程中没有加各种的这个化学物质,比如说杀虫剂啊,农药啊, 我们叫有机食物 uh, That's called organic food <coughs> And whole food means When we uh, process the food We don't add chemicals 就是完整的食物呢 就是在我们加工食物的过程中 没有添加化学物质 uh, <coughs> So uh, the ideal diet is to eat organic and whole food right? <coughs> So no chemicals added uh, for most people, for most adults, so for, for example, I don't care too much when I buy food ab uh, uh, about its 
organic or not. But for babies and pregnant women, I think it's really important to eat organic. <coughs> for babies and uh, pregnant women, 就是对婴儿和孕妇来说，这个有机食物还是很必要的。Because right now we can see a lot of、uh, allergies and behavioral problems in children,、right? in babies. For example, ADHD, autism. Uh, in, in children,、uh, a lot more than fifty, seventy years ago, and human genes haven't changed. So that's so the reason, mostly from the environmental、uh, factors, those chemicals, those chemicals in our envir- environment and in our foods, ca-、uh, causing those problems in our babies. So now, the babies are getting more and more allergic. 呃，多动啊，自闭啊，这些问题呢，啊，并不是说我们基因的改变啊，这比几十年前多很多，主要是因为环境的因素，就是包括食物里的这些化学物质添加。So it's really important to buy and eat organic for pregnant women and babies, u、uh, to prevent those problems. Those chemicals. Uh, for adults, we can tolerate.、Right? But for babies and for fetuses,、uh, they can cause some、uh, inflammative、uh, reaction in their in their tiny body.、Uh, for for example, all a lot of fruits we want to give babies uh, and uh, children a lot of fruits, right? With their nutri- nu- nutritious, but、uh, fruits. Have more、uh, pesticides than greens. For example,、uh, we use、uh, pesticides on strawberries 150 times more than on greens. So it's very、uh, put, actually very contaminated fruit. So it's really important to buy organic strawberries. <coughs> 就水果用的杀虫剂是量是很大的，呃，比如说我们种这个谷物的用的这，呃，用一些杀虫剂啊、化肥啊。那我们用在草在草莓上的这个杀虫剂，是谷物的杀虫剂的一百五十倍，就是这个它的量是很大，而且它不容易洗干净。It's hard to wash strawberries. So, uh, if we want to feed the baby and the children. A、strawberry and other fruits, it's better to buy organic. And also for、uh, our coffee and wine,、uh, because the coffee beans and the grapes can contain pesticides and other chemicals inside. So if we are really,、uh, if we drink those coffee and wine, we are drinking those chemicals together. So we, you you want you may want to consider to buy organic. Coffee and the wine. <coughs> yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see here. Ah,、uh, vitamin C intake will, ah,、uh, will、uh, get on touch on that on vitamins later, and we can share. Ah,、uh, you mean the、uh, vitamin supplements, right? I take. I personally take vitamin supplement supplements every day, and as my family, my whole family, for many years, I think it's quite necessary to take some vitamin sal- supplements, but not over, not overtake.、Uh, usually, I take half of the dose that is recommended on the label. 就是我吃，我们全家都吃很多年的这维生素的这个补充剂，但是呢，不要吃的过多。我一般都是吃标签推荐量的一半半量。Yeah, because my diet is quite healthy. I think I consider my diet is quite healthy, and my body is healthy. So I don't、uh, eat too much, but I eat some every day. <coughs> And also another topic is the genetic modification food,、uh, GM, the gene, 改转基因食品 It's good or bad, and there's no long-term answers. 
For short term, uh, there is no uh, apparent evidence that is causing harms to our body. 就是短期看呢，没有明显的大的这种危害。But there is, for the long term, there is no answers. One reason is the GM food is still new uh, in our diet. And the other reason is after like 30, 50 years, for example, if a person developed cancer, we don't know if it's because of environmental pollution or it's because of GM food or it's because of lifestyle. So it's hard. To determine, right? To determine the、uh, long-term outcomes. 就是长期的呃，这个后果呢是很难评估的，因为一个人，比如说得了癌症，几十年之后得了癌症，你不知道它是转基因食品的作用，还是环境污染呢，还是他生活方式的问题，所以就很难啊，很难得到一个结论。<coughs> And in fact, seventy percent of all of all products. In our grocery stores, contain some GM component. 就是我们买的食物里的百分之七十的里面都有一些转基因的成分 It's very hard to avoid GM、uh, food now. There are fifty GM crops in the U.S. and half of soybeans,、uh, one third of corn, and most of tomato and potatoes are、uh, genetic modified. 也就是说，呃，有一半的黄豆，还有三分之一的玉米，还有绝大多数、绝大多数的西红柿和土豆都是转基因的食品，所以我们每个人都在吃啊。Because everyone is eating tomato and potatoes, right? And no labeling requirements in the U.S., so you don't know if it's GM food or not. Uh, if they don't label it, uh, uh voluntarily. But to me, I don't know. It's not big concern in my mind.、Uh, but, but from common sense, from common sense, it's better not to eat GM food. We want to eat natural food, right? So that's a that's a key a、uh, principle. We want to eat, eat eat natural food. But as our society developed,、uh, evolved. We, we, you know, we don't have much choice.、Uh, so even though you plant, you harvest some food in your backyard, there still can be a, a GM food. <coughs> And food processing, I try not、uh, to buy processed food. Uh, from in、uh, from the market, 就是我尽量不买这种加工过的食物，买 fresh 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 food, whole food, because a lot of chemicals are added to our foods when we buy. Some of them are intentional additives. For example, we want the food to be more tasty. We add we add sugar and、uh, add salt, add oil. Those are intentionally added. And some added chemicals are used during processing and packaging. For example, if we want、uh, decaf coffee, decaf, we want to take out the caffeine from the coffee beans. We have to use some chemicals, and which those that type chemical chemical can can can、uh, cause cancer. So, so I don't recommend to drink decaf coffee. 就是有一些化学物质在这个食物的加工和包装的过程中是一定要用的，比如说在生产，呃，没有没有脱咖啡因的这种咖啡的时候呢，就需要用这个有机溶剂来把这咖啡因提取出来。那么这个有有机溶剂它是有致癌性的，所以说我们也不建议吃喝这种没有咖啡因的咖啡啊 d e c a f f e e 咖啡。咖啡。And there are some silent additives. Uh, for example, the pesticide,、uh, as I mentioned, the pesticide inside the, the、uh, coffee bean、uh, or grapes、uh, fruits. So when we drink coffee, wine, or juice, we may drink the pesticides. And、uh, you know, the farms use antibiotics and the hormones to 
their uh, their animals to their to their stock, like for example the cows cows. So when we drink the milk or eat the meat, uh, we may take uh, intake some antibiotics and hormones uh, from the milk and the meat. So that those are called silent additives. It's very hard to avoid. Okay, good. Uh, thank you, Melissa. You can water processed uh, decaffeinated co coffee. Okay. Good. That's more healthy. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your uh, knowledge. Very good. Yeah, I try not to drink too much coffee. Yeah. Coffee uh, is very high, it's highly addictive. And people, you know, we don't need coffee in our, in our body, right? As we don't need, need alcohol in our body. So I try not to drink too much. Maybe a couple of cups a week, or two or three cups of coffee a week. For example, uh, to prepare for this uh, presentation, I, have, I want to drink some coffee to be alert. Uh, that's it. Uh, otherwise, I don't drink coffee every day. And there are 3,000 food additives currently approved by FDA. It's uh, quite a larger um, uh, number, right? But actually, FDA banned, uh, forbidden, more than 50,000 food additives. 就是说，美国食品药品管理局呢，目前通通过了哈，有大概有三千种的食物的添加剂。但它禁止了大概超过5万种食物添加剂 So the industry really tried to use a lot of additives uh, in, into the food you know, to make the food more tasty, more addictive uh, and people without knowledge, they don't know they, they, they like to buy those uh, foods with additives which are not good for their health so without regulation, it will be a disaster. But the, our regulation is not that tight. FDA is not tight. You just need to prove it's safe. It's not, uh, it, it, it not killing people. So usually it get approved. <coughs> so on average, an American person eats 150 to 160 pounds of uh, food additives per year that's heavier than my body weight okay. 也就是说平均一个, 呃, 北美的人, 啊, 他每年会吃100到, including 130 pounds of sweeteners 90% of them is sugar the table sugar and the 15 pounds of salt a lot of salt um, which is a uh, main uh, reason for hypertension and uh, stroke 就是15磅的盐 每年要吃15磅的盐 所以说有很多的高血压中风的病人 and other additives 5 to 10 pounds that's still a lot if you eat 5 pounds of uh, you know, preservatives, uh, artificial colorings, that's, uh, I think people are dying. <coughs> and those kind of uh, additives cause a lot of inflammation inside our body. <coughs> so that's why I don't really buy processed food, only for emergencies. I really am too busy or too lazy. Um, I buy, uh, maybe buy a frozen pizza, frozen pizza, <coughs> something like that. And as I said, you don't you just you just need to prove it's it's not killing people to uh, F FDA to get approval. So we don't really know the long term risks of using those uh, food additives. It's very hard. Uh, people people's life is long, so we don't know the long long term risks. 
But from common sense, again, from common sense, it's better not to eat them. Yeah, they are not food. They are not nutrients. 所以说，从常理来讲，还是尽量不要吃，因为既不是营养，也不是食物啊，这些添加剂。With in countries there is, in in countries where the regulation is, uh, loose, so the problem is most severe, or more serious. We know in China the food, food safety is a big big problem, right? Because the regulation, uh, the law enforcement is not. Good. <coughs> oh, there are uh, there are hundreds of additives uh, we we should avoid, but there are two twelve twelve key additives to avoid. Uh, we it's important to give this inf- information to the our patients to, to the public. So, uh, that's I said. Health prevention is really important.、Uh, diet is a big, big、uh, is a big factor here. So, uh, hydro hydrogenated fats, fats, 氢化脂肪 So it's just hard artificial, uh, artificial fats to uh to prolong the shelf life of food because the bacteria bacteria cannot digest hydrogenated fats. Um, but it's bad for the body. It can cause cardiovascular disease and obesity. And those are research based, right?、Uh, there is a evidence. There, there are evidences of those side effects. 就是氢化脂肪属于人工的，人工的，就是为了增加这个食物的保存时间。因为细菌并不能分解这个氢化脂肪，所以说细菌不能繁殖的话，就会啊延长它的这个保存时间。但是呢，研究证明它是会导致心血管疾病和导致肥胖。So when I buy a, a food, I really read the label very carefully.、Uh, and all the ingredients, all the ingredients, I read.、Uh, so it's better, it's good to learn those English,、uh, English terminologies. So, so when you read the labels here, you know what is. The additives yeah, inside the food, and artificial food colorings, uh, the 人工的色素啊 it can cause allergies, asthma, hyperactivity, and、uh, possibly、uh, carcinogenic. 也有可能有致癌性，而且人工的色素它很导致很多的过敏的反应 And the nitrites and nitrates, uh, carcinogenic, 就是也是。致癌的 ，because those chemicals you can see them in a lot of preserved food， 就是这种腌制的食品，腌肉啊、香肠啊、呃、呃 sausage hams， 呃呃的 luncheon luncheon meat， 都都 they contain a lot of those nitrates， 就是这个午餐肉啊、汉汉就是火腿和香肠。这些腌制的肉肉类里面有很多这种呃亚硝酸或者硝酸盐。They can become 那那超市里面就是亚硝胺 in inside our body. They 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 turn 呃、uh, tend to 那那超市里面 inside our body, which is highly carcinogenic. 是一种亚硝胺是一种强的致癌物质。所以它 cause liver cancer and other cancers. <coughs> so try not to eat those、uh, preserved meat, and there are also、uh, chemicals contain sulfur. Sulfur can cause、uh, allergy and asthma. Sugar, sugar itself is not toxic, right? It's a, a kind of, but、uh, we eat too much. The problem is we eat too much. Sugar and natural sweeteners that cause a lot of inflammation, damp, 就是炎症和湿气，呃、uh, ，inside our body. So when when I read the label, I always watch、uh, see how much sugar or natural sweeteners or artificial sweeteners、uh, there is inside the food. And artificial sweeteners are worse, are worse than the sugars. 
Sugar is bad. Artificial sweeteners are worse. <coughs> Uh, for for example, the diet diet Coke, uh, Coke Zero, those kind of uh, drinks, they don't have sugar, but they have what? artificial sweeteners. Uh, those are popular, the very common thing, um, sweeteners, aspartame, uh, ansaimi, ansaimi, uh, tangjing, uh, saccharin, <coughs> very commonly used. They cause behavioral problems hyperactivity, allergy, especially to children, especially to children, because they cause inflammation uh, reaction inside the brain to the neurons. So it will cause a lot of children's problems, like a lot of children's And they are possible uh, carcinogenic. <coughs> Same as uh, the artificial sweeteners, we should avoid MSG, Weijing. Weijing, which is very commonly used in uh, Chinese and Japanese food because it's invented in Japan, I think. It's monosodium uh, glutamate. Uh, it can cause allergic and the behavioral reactions uh, like headache, dizziness, chest pain, depression, muscle ring, and possible neurotoxic. Uh, uh, <coughs> so there is a saying called there is a term called the Chinese restaurant syndrome. So after you they eat you eat in a Chinese restaurant, you feel a lot of people feel headache, dizzy, uh, chest pain, right? Mood rings. Because in Chinese restaurant they use a lot of MSG. MSG. Uh, so uh, that's that's the thing we should not use much in our cooking, and it also contains sodium. Sodium is so. You take MSG, you are taking uh, sodium as uh, salt. Same same thing. Same sodium, causing high blood pressure. <coughs> and the preservatives. We should uh, avoid all those preservatives. I don't know the uh, chemical names, but they all cause allergies, uh, hyperactivity, uh, possible cancer, uh, <coughs> and some of them may be toxic to our nerves and uh, liver. So we, we all know preservatives are bad. The pharmaceuticals <coughs> And also uh, artificial flavors. Mm. You know, the industry invented those flavors to like mm, to, to, to let people uh, be addicted to the taste. So uh, right now, when you go to the restaurant, the taste of the uh, food is stronger and stronger. It's getting more and more strong. So people want more and more spicy. Uh, more and more salty, uh, so more and more uh, food additives, because our taste get desensitized by those additives. 也就是说我们现在的食物啊，尤尤其在饭店里，越来味道越来越浓啊，越来越强，辣呀、咸呐，就是我们的这个味觉是越来越的不敏感了。所以对这个食物添加剂的这种。本能的这种需要也是越来越强烈，but uh, those artificial flavors can cause allergy and a lot of uh, bad reactions inside our body. <coughs> so from a common sense, we should eat eat natural food. We don't want artificial flavors, right? We want enjoy the real flavor flavor of the real food. For example, some vegetables taste. A little bit sour, a little bit bitter, 
but that, that's the real flavor. We should enjoy it. Uh, and uh, you know our uh, physiology. We when we eat a certain uh, food uh, to a certain amount, we don't want to eat um, anymore. We want to change our food. That that is good how our good for our nutrition. So we want we we change we eat a variety a variety of food uh, with a, a variety of tastes. So that's why we don't. Eat it, uh, eat it, uh, the same food over and over again. But with the artificial flavors, everything is sweet, salty, or spicy. So we are eating those uh, same food over and over again. We lose the uh, variety of source of nutrition. <coughs> That's the problem with uh, processed food. 就是本本来我们的这个本能啊，就是吃一样的味道。一样的食物，一一一段时间之后呢，就会不想吃了，就想吃另外的味道、另外的食物。这样呢，我们可以获取本能的话，就能获取多样的、多种样的营养、营养素和营养。但是人工香料呢，我们就让我们就总吃这一种甜的呀、啊、咸的、啊、食物，就是我们会失失去这种啊、呃、食物的营养来源的这种多元性、多样性。The refined flour. It's food, but it's processed food. Uh, we we should not eat much. 就是一种精致的面粉 There are no nutrients. Uh, only calories. Only calories. So we we call it empty calorie food. Uh, <coughs> low nutrient calories, including bread. Including bread. I don't eat eat much bread. Only maybe one or two pieces of whole grain, like、uh, whole grain bread. But even whole grain bread is not、uh, it's still like has a lot of empty calories. It's still it's still a bread, so not eat don't eat too much. Even though it's whole grain bread,、uh, eat the whole grain instead instead of the bread. <coughs> salt.、Uh, we right now we we、uh, have a lot of salt in all those processed food. And this one, olive on、uh, on olive oil, is a kind of artificial fat、uh, that is used a lot in the in the food in the processed food. It can cause diarrhea and the digestive disturbance. So,、uh, if some people have diarrhea and digestive、uh, disturbance, you may want to look at their diet, what they are eating, what they are eating. Any, any problem? Any、uh, experience here,、uh, like organic food? Any opinions on the genetic modified, 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 modified food and processed food? 大家呃、uh, ，and the food additives. 大家对这个食品添加剂啊，食品加工啊，转基因食品呢，还有这个有机食品有什么？观点和经验可以分享一下。You can share your experience here. <coughs> you, you know, after teaching this、uh, nutrition course, my diet is becomes a lot more, lot a lot more healthier than before. <laughs> so knowledge can change our behavior. 就是我教了这门课之后，我自己的饮食也变得更健康了很多。所以说，知识可以改变我这个我们的行为啊，我们的选择。So knowledge, we know more, we choose wiser. So it's really to educate the uh the public. <coughs> okay. Because right now we have a COVID pandemic. So I, I want to talk a lot, 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 a little bit about the nutritional intervention、uh, to viral infection. 就是讲一点关于这个病毒感染的营养营养学的这个介入。Alright. 
Yeah, I saw joke. Yeah, I know natural things and foods are good, but, but those fast food are really tasty. <coughs> okay, so Ding Yu, thanks for your uh, sharing. There is a, uh, there are explanations to that type of attitude. 就是这种态度是有是有原因的。First, it's one one thing is self image, right? <coughs> If you Believe you are healthy, or you believe you are、uh, you are sick. People, some people believe they are always sick. So,、uh, uh, from their subconscious, they want to choose bad food. They want to make bad choices for their health. 就有一些人，他的潜意识里就是认为他自己是有病的，所以说他的选择呢，就是选择这种对他健康不利的食品呢，或者是这种行为。And another reason is. <coughs> Those fast food, those bad food, cause in reaction inside your body, especially inside your brain. Those reaction or inflammation cause addiction. 就这些不健康的食物在我们的身体里，尤其是在我们的大脑里，会产生很多的反应，叫炎症反应。那么这些炎症反应呢，因为它是在神经细胞上产生的，它就会产生。成瘾性 ，so those inform uh reaction, uh from our neurons, our nervous cells, cause addiction to those bad food. So for those people, we need, uh, uh a cleansing program. 就是要排毒。We have we first of all we need like this. This is the same for TCM theory, right? We want to clean the body first, and then supplement. 要先清，然后再补。The same for uh, so nutrition is the same. So we want to eliminate those、uh, inflammation, those、uh, bad chemicals from the body first. After the body become clean, they don't want the fast food. They don't, they don't want the bad food anymore. In another word, if your body is really healthy, you don't really want. You are, you are not、uh, really craving for those fast food and bad food. For example, I don't really like the the dessert, the sweet food. I don't, I don't, I don't really enjoy eating them. But I think because my body is clean. 也就是说，我们把它这个体内的这些化学物质排掉之后呢，还有这个有害的炎症排掉之后呢，身体变得干净了，人呢就不想吃这些甜食啊、垃圾食品呐、啊，或者是成瘾性的食品了。比如说，我们的身体干净之后啊，就不会，呃，特别馋，想吃的某些食物，呃，比如说我对甜品就不是很感兴趣，不想不是很想吃甜的，可能身体比较干净。当我们很馋的某种食物的时候，往往是我们就是这种炎症性的成瘾，我们叫这个 inflam inflammation 啊，呃 ，addiction。就是这种，我们 when we are craving for certain Food is usually because of、uh, inflammation addiction inside our brain. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar is highly addictive too. Sugar, coffee—they are all highly addictive. But the good thing is, it's quite easy. It's quite easy to 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 stop and、uh, stop drinking coffee and、uh, sugar. It just takes three, four days, four, five days. Like within a week, you can,、uh, you can get over the,、uh, the addiction for sugar and coffee. It's much easier than heroin. 就是糖和咖啡虽然成瘾性很高，但是呢也比较容易戒掉，大概一般四五天、一个礼拜之内都可以戒掉了。Yeah, it's good to talk about the healthy lifestyle. Yeah, I like that that, that kind of topic. <coughs> yeah, detoxification and、uh, cleansing, 就是这种排毒，也是我们营养学课程的一个很大的，也也是很大的一个内容。<coughs> okay, if we want to use nutrition, uh, nutritional methods to uh to help the viral infection, we are not. Trying to kill the viruses, 
with nutrients. But we want to reduce the number of virus uh, through detoxification and immune support, and ways to improve self-memory integrity and general health. 就是我们用营养来这个帮助病毒感染的时候呢并不是说直接杀死这些病毒而是要减少病毒的漏的减少病毒的量通过什么呢通过排毒和支持我们的免疫系统另外一个呢就是海上我们细胞膜的完整性和
so there is l less or little minerals in the inside the water. So when the water is soft, so we usually we want to take some mineral supplements uh, for our health. <coughs> but you know, usually that's why we want to eat local food, right? We want to eat the local seasonal food because our body uh, and uh, is because we, for example, we live here uh, with uh, uh, a certain type of water, and also the plants also using the same source of water. So those plants, those vegetables, vegetables is more healthy, it's more suitable to our body. So our body is more used to those, that uh, combination of um, <coughs> chemicals and the ingre ingredients of nutrients. So it, it really depends on the region. But in my, uh, my personal I just think filtered water and also boiled water, uh, both. I, I not, I just, I not. Only some people not only drink boil, boiled water. I drink filtered water too. At the room temperature, uh, uh, filtered water. <coughs> uh, you can do some research on the, um, on the water source of your region. But don't drink the water directly from the tap. And that's not good, not healthy, and not clean. <coughs> okay, back to the cell membrane in integrity. So we want to take vitamin C and vitamin E. Vitamin C we can take a, a large, a large amount. I personally, I take one gram to two grams a day. 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. Uh, <coughs> so because they, it's water soluble, right? so it's very safe. So vitamin C can eat a lot of amount because it's water soluble. I myself eat one or two grams of vitamin C. And vitamin C is used very quickly inside the body. And after a couple of hours, it's used used up. So I, I, that's why I take vitamin C like twice a day. <coughs> and especially during the pan pandemic period, and also if you are having a cold or flu, you take a lot of vitamin C. Uh, vitamin A is also good for our immune system and for our skin and for our cell membrane. And psyllium, which is C, C, this vitamin is uh, important for our to fight viral infection. And the essential fatty acids. Uh, include omega six and omega threes. 就是必须的脂肪酸就包括, uh, omega, omega 6和omega 3. Usually we have enough omega six from our diet, like from vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is, is mostly omega six, like the soy, uh, soy, soybean oil, uh, sunflower seeds oil. Uh, they are all om omega six, but usually we don't have enough omega three from our diet. 就是我们的饮食中，omega六并不缺啊，植物油大部分都是omega六，那么omega三会缺一点。So for vegetarian uh, people, you can have omega three from flaxseed, from our flaxseed oil.就是素食的人可以吃那个亚麻籽或者亚麻籽油啊 flaxseed. You can buy organic flaxseed uh, from Costco. So I have it in the fridge. Uh, so you can add a spoon of flaxseed into your cereal in the, in every morning, right? So it's good source of omega three. Um, for other people, you can also take uh, fish oil for omega threes. 就是不是素食的人也可以吃鱼油。I uh, take uh, omega three every day. Uh, my whole family for for many many years. <coughs> yeah, since actually since I went to medical school when I was eighteen, my family starts started to take vitamins supplements <coughs> because I told them to. 
And because the, those uh, omega three is not only good for our immune system, but also good for our uh, uh, blood vessels, for our brains, for our joints, right? it has many many health benefits. And uh, you can buy them from Costco. It's uh, not not it's really not expensive. And for people with so with viral infection. They should have enough rest. They have uh, enough rest. That's why we need to take a break, uh, stay home when we have a cold or flu. And when we are not infected, we should have regular exercise. So, when we are not infected, we should have regular exercise. So, when we are not infected, we should have regular exercise. Regular exercise can boost our immune system. 哦，阳气，对吧？就是锻炼身体可以提升我们的阳气，也改善我们的免疫系统。呃、uh, ，is quite important. Uh, at least thirty minutes a day. Regular exercise means every day thirty minutes. 就是每天至少三十分钟。啊、uh, ，moderate, moderate exercise, not too violent. 啊、uh, ，don't exhaust、uh, yourself. 就是不要太剧烈的啊，就是中等的。And uh, and stress. Stress management because chronic, long-term chronic stress can really suppress、uh, our immune system. 就是长期的慢性的这种压力会抑制我们的免疫系统。Uh, suppress our endocrine system too. 就对我们的内分泌系统和免疫系统会有抑制作用，会降低我们的免疫力。<coughs> so stress management is a big topic too. <coughs> And a positive attitude toward life, 就是对生活有个积极的态度，就是 spiritual health， 就是灵性健康。呃、uh, ，that's I think that's the most important、uh, aspect of health, the spirit spiritual health. For example, during the pandemic, what is your attitude? Is positive or? A lot, a, 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 that's a lot of fear. If you live in fear,、uh, your immune system will be compromised for sure. You have a high risk、uh, get infected,、uh, infected, or uh, uh, certainly living a miserable life. But if you have a positive attitude,、uh, you have a less risk or better chance of recovery and happy and happier life. Even even there is a pandemic. 就是说，对这个疫情的态度也是一样的，是在恐惧中生活，还是在这种积极的态度中生活？这是一个很灵性健康也很重要的一点。So that's the same for TCM philosophy, right? So first of all, uh, the practitioners and also the patients, we need to teach the patients to have a positive attitude toward their health and their life. That's very very important.、Uh, everything about everything. Okay, so this is a list of conditions that can reduce our、uh, immune function. For example,、uh, air pollution, which is air pollution, we think is. For example, it's it's bad in big cities in China, but actually, even in Vancouver,、uh, I see some people exercise on a on a busy road. Right, there are a lot of cars passing by, and that particular part of the、uh, environment, there the air pollution is quite serious. It's、uh, the PM value is I think is as bad as in Beijing. If you exercise there, if you run、uh, on those busy roads, you are taking a lot of pollutants in, into your lungs. 也就是说，你在很繁忙的公路上，如果是锻炼呐、啊，或者是走步的时候，那个空气污染也是很严重的。啊、uh, ，air pollution, <coughs> alcohol. Yeah, we all know that bacteria infection, cigarette smoking, not very, very harmful to our immunity. Uh, environmental chemicals, as we said, in including the additives into our food, 
exercise, uh, exercise, exercise. <laughs> so too much activity, uh, too much, we uh, too exhausted. Extreme emotions, we know from the TCM theory, and also uh, psycholo psycholo psychology, that extreme emotions can harm our organs, right? Harm our body. That's why we don't don't live in fear. I don't live in sorrow. Uh, it's extreme weather. Uh, that's why uh, Vancouver is the weather is so mild that people um, uh, like to like to uh, live here. Lack of exercise, so too much training. I want everything in moderate balance. So too much is not good. Too little is not good either. Most people nowadays lifestyle is too sedentary. So a lot of people have quite a weak immune system and also weak muscles, right? Or weak bones. So now the people's life is too sedentary. Sedentary people are very few. So the immune system is very weak. And the muscle and bone system is also weak. That's why regular exercise is really important for most people, especially people in the city. And negative negative attitudes can damage your immunity. Why? Because attitudes is a you know higher uh, activity of our brain, and the brain can uh, the activity inside the brain can can affect our autonomic nerves and also affect our endocrine system, and then. Affect our immune system, uh, so there is a scientific ex explanation why uh, mental health or spiritual health is really important for your physical health. Health. 有人说，这个人的这种心情、态度啊，呃，情绪啊，是一种高级的这种神经活动呢，它也会影响到通过神经这个信号，也会影响到我们的植物神经系统。和我们的内分泌系统和我们的免疫系统，所以这个灵性健康和心理健康呢，对我们的身体这个健康也是非常非常重要。呃、uh, ，OK， after this page I can take a break。So， 呃、uh, ，nutrient de deficiencies， in TCM it means deficits， deficiency 就是。缺乏营养素了 ，for example fatty acids, omega omega threes, selenium, uh, vitamins, right? So that can、uh, decrease our immune system. Overwork, overwork. Some people work too much. Yeah.、Uh, people in the city nowadays work a lot more than in in history. So that is a big big. Uh, burden to our health. Parasite infection, 就是这种寄生虫的感染呢 Poor diet. A lot of people eat like eat not enough protein, especially for some vegetarian. 呃、uh, ，就是很多吃素食的人的这个蛋白质的摄入不够啊 Because we need the protein to make antibodies. 怎么这个抗体就是蛋白质啊？所以说蛋白质不够的话，免疫力会下降。Or people eat too too much congestive, high acid food, 就是这种酸性的、过于淤堵的食物啊，呃 ，cause a lot of stagnation, congestion inside our body. And poor sleep, and steroids, steroids can uh, surprise, uh, surprise our immune system or immune function. 就是这种。皮脂激素呢？糖皮质激素会压压制我们的免疫免疫功能。And some street drugs, street drugs such as cocaine,、uh, they are not good for our health. 就这种这种毒品啊，也会抑制我们的免疫力。Stress, sugar overuse, same as the congestive food. Sugar causes a lot of lot of damp inside our body. And toxic heavy metals for sure. Uh, that's why we want to filter the the water in the well in the water. 
uh, fresh water, sea water, there are more and more heavy, uh, heavy metals. <coughs> and the viral uh, infection uh, and the uh, yeast infection, okay, so we can take a break for 15 minutes. Okay, good. Yeah, so now it's break time, and then let's uh, come back uh, about, um, okay, yeah. Uh, 12 o'clock? About 12 o'clock, okay. Okay. Good. Let's continue. <laughs> so for a viral infection, we want we can do some mild detox detoxification. Uh, depends on the physic uh the condition of the patient. 就是根据客人的体质，我们可以做一些轻度的这种排毒的呃饮食上的调整。You to reduce congesting food, so we can ask the patient to eat less meats, uh, milk products, breads, the sweet, uh, sweet food, sugar. So to reduce the congestion and increase liquid and nutri nutrient rich water food. That's fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables. That's uh, can can uh, detox detox the body to help our immune system and help help reduce the number the, the, the amount of virus. But we do not I recommend uh, just fasting uh, with chronic viruses. 就是说病毒感染的时候我们并不推荐 做这种断食，或者是进食，或者中医讲的辟谷这种，就是即使是有，比如说fasting with some people use water fasting, which is quite risky, and lots of people use juice fasting, which is safer. But for uh, viral infection, we do not recommend because it does may cause deficiencies uh, to damage our immune system. <coughs> And for people with chronic viral problem, we re recommend high quality nourishment. And we can, there is a list, we can see the table later. And the individualized supplements and the rest. And we can test the body, the nutritional uh, uh, condition, and then indiv individualize their supplements. <coughs> and we can take a lot of vitamin C, as I said, and some vitamin A. Vitamin C, how much we can take? So this is the way we test our tolerance to vitamin C. Each person is a little bit different. So usually after in the Western medicine, after surgery, we give patients four to eight grams of vitamin C IV. 就是术后我们一般给病人静脉注射四到八颗的四到八颗的维生素C静脉注射 So orally we can take a lot. So if you take vitamin C like three times a day, uh, three three times a day, and without any uh, diarrhea, uh, diarrhea that means you are still tolerant to that amount. If you start to have diarrhea, that means you are taking too much vitamin C. That's how you test the tolerance. 就是说你一天分三次吃维生素C的时候。如果出现了腹泻，那就说明已经这个量太大了，已经不能耐受了。啊，就是如果没有出现腹泻的话呢，这个量是可以耐受的。So people with viral uh infection, we can give uh recommend them to eat a large amount of vitamin C and zinc too. Zinc to help our immune system, but at the same time we need to take more copper mechanism, 就是铜啊，锰啊。Iron tea, yeah. 如果我们补锌的话, 因为这些都是二价的, because they'll uh, zinc and those uh, iron, those uh, minerals, they compete uh, for absorption. So we need to increase the, those amounts. And uh, amino acids. <coughs> Yeah, 
glycemic， 呃 ，glycemic index 就是这个升糖指数 ，is a very important for people with diabetes or 呃、uh, high blood sugar level。We want to choose food with low glycemic index， 就是我们希望用那种。啊，低的啊，升血糖指数的食物。<咳> Human support, ah,、uh, we the most important nutrients are vitamin A, C, E, uh, minerals like zinc and selenium, 就是锌和硒 essential fatty acids, omega threes, and adequate protein intake. Those are the most and the basic nutrients to support our immune system. But there are also specific supplements, 有一些特殊的保健品 For example, ah,、uh, Ar Arabino Galactan, 就是阿拉伯半乳聚糖 It's a polysaccharide, 就是一种多糖一种聚糖 Ah,、uh, and the lactoferrin, 乳乳铁蛋白啊 Lysine, 赖氨酸还有这个 Organo, 嗯 Germanium, 就是有机质这些都都是 helpful to our immune system. They are, you can buy them from the supplement supplement stores. So for different viral conditions, we can recommend、uh, different nutrients. First of all, water, a lot of water and the vitamin C, and、uh, and also some probiotics. 这个嗜酸嗜酸嗜酸杆菌啊 ，Acidophilus 嗜酸杆菌。And also some、uh, herbs. I will talk about them later, like、uh, the golden seal, 鸡眼草啊，呃，这个叫啊， we'll talk about it. The group food seed extract. Don't don't know. So for the、uh, hepatitis, for 对肝炎的病人呢，呃，会 besides those 呃、uh,。Vitamins, water. We want. We recommend a low protein, low fat diet if it's、uh, active and acute. 就急性的或者是比较严重的这种肝炎的病人呢，我们是推荐低蛋白和低脂肪的饮食。Just let let the liver、uh, rest, right? But for chronic or recovering patients, uh, they can, uh, they don't. Really need to worry about protein and fat intake. 就是在这种不是很严重的恢复期的这种肝炎的病人呢，肝病的病人呢，就并不并不不用特别的在意低蛋白低脂肪。这是跟以前的呃观点是不太一样的。And also, we want to take some antioxidant. Antioxidant 就是抗氧化的。And the, the milk distal 就是奶鸡草，啊，对肝炎的。So the herbs, uh, so the the nutrition, the Western nutrition also talk about herbs because they are natural natural food, right? So, for example, aloe vera is very uh used a lot for antibiotic. Antibiotic means those herbs can kill or suppress a virus uh or bacteria. But aloe vera contains acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is a polysaccharide. It really boosts our immune system. Also, it can kill the bacteria. 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 Also, it can kill the Even with the garlic extract capsules, they are still order. So if anyone know like a、uh, orderless garlic extract supplement, I I would like to、uh, take them. 就是大蒜的好处还是非常多的。嗯 ，ginger， 嗯 ，golden seal， golden seal 也叫北美黄连。It contains 呃、uh, berberine， 就是黄连素，啊，可以杀菌的。A、uh, grape fruit seeds and licorice, 就是甘草 Licorice alone is, ah,、uh, it's mild, it's sweet. Uh, I can, I have the licorice tea tea bag. It's sweet and relaxing. So, 
uh, and there are other uh, herbs used co used quite common here in North America. Propolis and the Shen Zhuang word, tea tree oil, and also uh, turmeric, jianghuang. It contains uh, curcumin, which is jianghuang su. It's anti-inflammation, right? Curcumin is anti-inflammation, especially uh, the inflammation in our uh, intestine and in our joints, uh, muscles. 就是姜黄素对我们的肠道的，还有关节和肌肉的炎症呢，都有消炎的作用。So <coughs> those are the antibiotic herbs, and there are also immune support herbs. Again, aloe vera, uh, ashwagandhas, uh, echinacea, it's hard to pronounce the, the, the uh, Latins, garlic. Uh, there are many uh, mushrooms here. Uh, Wor, what is um, maitake? Maitake mushroom, uh, rishi, uh, rishi mushroom, which is lingzhi, uh, rishi mushroom, and uh, shiitake mushroom, which is xianggu. Those mushrooms they have polysaccharides. You can do the duotang, duotang polysaccharides, same as the aloe vera. It's, you can boost our immune system. So those herbs, uh, I think the herbalist here uh, no more than me, but this is from the nutrition, from the food perspective. We're not using formula, formulas here. That's an individual herb to uh, help our immune system or kill the vi virus. <coughs> so you can see the herbs can uh, have those uh, properties, antiviral, antibacterial, 就是抗病毒的, 抗细菌的, it can increase cell production, 就是会增加细胞的, 就是免疫细胞的生成, increase cell activity, 就是增加免疫细胞的活跃度, increase the immune cell activity. You can see aloe vera has, have, has all the four properties. And uh, here, Licorice has uh, and the golden seal that has all those four character character. So you can choose uh the Xiangu, Xiangu he Lingzhi, uh, those mushrooms are are good for our immune system. So there are a lot of studies. Those are from studies, from uh data and evidence uh on those herbs on our immune system. So if the patient or if you don't want to give formula to the patients, if they don't want to take formulas, you can recommend some the, some of those herbs to the patients as food or as tea. They can drink some of them are available as a herbal tea, right? So they can drink the herbal tea. It's uh, very good during the viral infection. Okay, those the uh, let me see here the question here. Okay. Um, this table is the nutrients recommend a uh, supplement program, the nutrients recommended for acute viral infection. You can see people need uh, with viral infection acute, you need to drink a lot of water. Drink three to four liters water. Qua uh, one quart is. 940 something milliliters, similar to a liter. So you need to drink three to four liters of water a day. This is a day. And here you can see you can take a lot, a large amount of vitamin C, eight to 20 grams vitamin C a day. Bio uh, flavonoids, this is, this is this is so, bioflavonoids is a type of uh, phytonutrient uh, in, in the plants, in the vegetables, and the fruits. And here we want to take a large amount of uh, zinc and psyllium. Okay. And uh, we can also take garlic oil 
and also other herbs, herbal uh, supplements, and uh, probiotic, probiotic to help our uh, health of our uh, in, in intestine. Right? But some some herbs is too strong. We can only take one or two weeks, not too much, not too long. Yeah, all there is garlic. Okay, good. Yeah, I like to eat garlic, but my wife doesn't like it. So, okay, I'll try to buy those garlic supplements. Uh, for chronic viral condition, uh, you don't need to drink that, mu uh, that much of water, but you do need to take more protein. Because usually we take for adults, we take about 50 to 60 grams protein a day. But people with chronic viral infection, they need to take more, more protein uh, to help their immune system. And still a quite large amount of vitamin C, not that much, but still a lot. And the more vitamin B's, vitamin B's, <coughs> uh, and also zinc, selenium, uh, and the uh, amino amino acids, amino acids. 就是这种呃左旋的维生素，就用用来合成蛋白质的。And uh, we can choose other uh, supplements. For People with chronic disease, sometimes their digestive system, their digestive function is not good. So they cannot absorb those nutrients. That's why we usually ask them to take some digestive enzymes. To uh, after, after meal or together with meal. So help them to digest those nutrients. Okay, any questions here? Uh, yeah, those new nutrient program needs to be individualized. 就是说需要个性化的。So、this is just the general re recommendation. <coughs> so, uh, again, that's a small part of our natural nutrition course I I shared uh, with you. So, if you are interested, here is my advertisement. Okay. <laughs> So if you want to learn the whole course, it's uh, it's quite uh, less ex not expensive. It's only six hundred dollars, because I really want everyone uh, to take the, this pr program to have a knowledge of nutrition. Uh, it's fifty three lessons, and it takes it's totally online, and takes two or three months to finish. Uh, it's only six hundred dollars. So you can either call or text message me or WeChat me. And it's taught in Chinese and English. So we are using this education to It's self-paced. It's Yeah, I take, I take, a multivitamin minerals uh, every day, but as I said, just half dose of, uh, of the labeled uh, uh, do dosage. 我就是说，只是这个标签上的推使用量的半半量，我只是吃 half dose. Uh, it's controversial. It's controversial. What what type of multivitamin and mineral supplements is Better than uh, than each other, another. Uh, I I don't care too much. I don't care too much. But I try to use the more natural, uh, plant based, uh, plant sourced vitamins and mineral supplements. But it's really up to yourself. There's no uh, absolute which one is better or which one is not good. Yeah, I, I I like the more natural ones, <coughs> but for vitamin C, 
it really doesn't matter because the synthesized vitamin C is really made from corn starch. 就是说，这种合成的维生素 C， 它是实际上是从这个玉米、玉米浆、玉米糖浆里就是合成的啊，也是 not not that bad. Uh, I take the just the simple vitamin C from Costco. <coughs> okay, the next topic I I would like to share briefly is the moxa therapy in my clinic. So we know the moxa is really good. Moxibustion is really、uh, effective method、uh, in TCM. It's burning IE or mugwort.、Uh, so it has many bad, many、uh, health、uh, effective effects. Warm, young, nourished chi,、uh, dissolves stasis, and the worms and the unlock、uh, meridians. Right, and you can. Improve our、uh, defense, our immune system, and uh, uh, health promotion, and this is simple and safe. But the problem is, ah,、uh, there are two problems. One is smoke; people don't like the smoke, right? And the other one is, if you use moxa stick, it's you need to stay there for forty minutes for an hour.、Uh, it's time time consuming. And it's not good for your lungs. Too much smoke. And you can, if you hold the stick with your hand, you can only mark out two spots, two acupuncture spots points at the same time. <coughs> so it's not very efficient. 就是说，你用手持艾柱来做艾灸的话呢，一个是烟很很呛，时间很长；另外，你只能同时灸两个穴位，啊，或者是两个两个这个经络。So, uh, what I use, uh, in my clinic, is to, uh, I use the machines. I use Moxa machines. I'll show you the photos later. So, I think we all know the pharmacological effects of Moxa leaves. 就是它这个艾叶的这个药性 It's warm. It can warm chi and blood. Right? It's very cold. Warm young. And also exciting the nerves, and uh, uh, is eating pain, eating pain. Okay. So there are a、uh, lot of benefits of moxa. I really want to promote、uh, moxa therapy、uh, in the public. Because in, especially in Vancouver, there's a very cold and damp weather in the winter, so we want to use moxa as much as possible. I, I use a lot of moxa in, in my clinic. So、uh, there's a study. This is this is done in the U.S.、Uh, To study the, the energy and the wavelength of、uh, the moxa materials, here's the energy.、Uh, the higher number is, the more energy it has, and the better. And the wavelength, a short wavelength, means it can penetrate deeper into the skin. 就是说能量越大，当然就是说这数值越大，能量越大越好。另外，波长越短呢，它的穿透力越强。So here is the regular moxa stick. Mox regular moxa stick has a, a very large amount of energy and a short wavelength. 就波长短，能量非常大。So the second one is the smokeless moxa stick. The you know the black ones, 就是无烟的艾条，无烟的那种黑的艾条。It has very little energy. And the, the wavelength is long, which means it's really, it's really not useful. And the cigarette for cigarette, it has very low energy, but and also short wavelength. So the smokeless moxa, I think, is not even not as good as cigarette. But the regular、uh, moxa stick is way better. They have more than a thousand times more energy. It contains right. 
So we need to choose. We want to choose a, a good quality, uh, regular moxa stick for moxa therapy. Not the smokeless ones. Not the black ones. Okay. The machine. Uh, okay. There, there's another study. This is they, they use the infrared imaging. 就是红外线成像。So when we mock at the Ren Four Guan Yuan, and we can see the heating from the back, which means the heat, the energy, can actually penetrate the body from the front to the back. 就是我们就揪关元穴的时候，我们在后背这个对应的位置可以看到这个检测到这个热点、热量，这红外线成像嘛。那么就是说这个热能是可以穿透身体啊，从前到后穿透的。然后 here when we mock the bladder thirteen, 肺腧，就很细的 healing effect on the upper back. 就是我们灸肺腧的时候的上背部的这个热量成像。So when we mock the ah、uh, GB twenty one, ah、uh, 就是肩颈，有呃、uh, we can see the healing is going up, shooting up along the channel. So in the beginning, you tried the GB twenty one, you tried the the spot. The IQ point, and then it goes bigger and more going up. The, the heat,、uh, the heat is going up. So when we do moxa, actually the energy is not just local; it travels along the channels or affecting the larger、uh, surface of、uh, surface area, surface area. So. <coughs> 也就是说，我们做艾灸的时候，它不光是这个局部的一个点，它有可能沿着经络呀，或者沿着一个面积来扩散。OK， 我都怎么试一下 ？Not from I I don't produce I don't manufacture those machines. I I just I bought them from China. Why? Because we just want to save labors. As I said, I don't want to spend an hour with the patients holding the moxa stick. So I use the machine. So inside this machine, I put six of those big, big moxa sticks with、uh, herbs, other herbs inside, and it can burn for like 90 minutes at least, sometimes two hours. 90 minutes. So I usually ask the patient to moxa the lower back for 40 minutes. And then turn over, turn over, mock at the abdomen for another hour,、um, and they can adjust the height by themselves, right? The temperature the, they can adjust the temperature, and also the machine filtered filters the smoke, and there is a pipe here, the black one, the black pipe, the pipe、uh, does the remove the smoke outside the clinic. So this is the the, the machine I use. It's quite, it's very good. People like,、uh, they feel very comfortable. And I use other machines here.、Uh, this is one. This is Hui Xuan Jiu. Hui Xuan Jiu. It's swir swirling moxa, swirling moxa. Hui Xuan Jiu. It burns moxa stick stick inside here, and the machine filters. Filters the smoke and all that. There's no smoke coming out. And this is smoke. This moxa chamber. It has infrared, infrared up and down. And here we put moxa cotton、uh, here. 就是把艾绒放里面 And they, they use elect elect electricity to to heat the moxa cotton、uh, to to do moxa therapy. So I use those machines, not my hands, to do mock the therapy. So, so that's why I call the modernized. So we try to use the modern machine or modern technology to help our practice and to promote uh, the uh, the use of mock the. Uh, so you can share your experience. In、uh, moxa therapy, or and also any opinions. Okay, and we have half an hour remaining. 
And the last topic I want to share, uh, the, the, and the, the, I, the very important idea I want to share with colleagues here is my thinking and the, the strategies to promote TCM in North America. Because that's the, I think that's the goal of many of our uh, colleagues, uh, acupuncturists and herbalists, right? <coughs> but right now I, I have uh, interacted with many practitioners. Right now people look at, uh, look up to policies and the regulations of the governments to, we want them to promote TCM pro practices which is not very realistic. So who, who can do the promotion of TCM practices? It's only us. And it takes, it takes not regulations and uh, policies, but entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship to promote TCM practice in North America. We need to be entrepreneurs to promote, promote TCM. Because uh, the, we have to accept that in North America or maybe in the whole world, the modern Western medicine is the mainstream. Right? It's the mainstream. And TCM is supplement, supplemental. So we have to, we to So we don't want to compete with West medicine. So we don't want to compare with West medicine. Uh, so some practitioners, they say, okay, Western medicine cannot treat cancer, I can. Or Western medicine cannot treat COVID, I can. That's not, uh, that's not a smart uh, attitude. You, you want to compete with West, Western medicine and you want, want to compare with them. We can do different things together. For example, the Western medicine may be good at a really acute, serious, and ICU type of diseases. And uh, the TCM, um, uh, I think it's more, it's better at prevention, uh, disease prevention, and the rehab, rehabilitation. That's my idea. Don't compete, compete, don't compare. <coughs> and if we see the TCM practice in North America and China, we can see a big, big difference. And maybe we can have uh, some, we can learn some strategies uh, from the difference. So in North America, we have diploma. In, the, in China, they have, they got medical degree, right? The TCM doctors, they are medical doctors and they have medical degrees. And ironically, a lot of TCM doctors, they, are, they do Western medicine surgeries in their uh, hospitals. Uh, it's, that, that's not a TCM, that's not a real TCM, but they have the, the scope of practice to do surgeries and uh, prescribe Western medicines. At the same time, they can prescribe uh, uh, TCM, uh, Chinese medicine and acupuncture. So that's a, that's a big difference. So in North America, we have to know our scope is quite uh, limited. Uh, so we do, we do, we don't want, want to, okay, those TCM doctors in China, they can do those, those things, and uh, we want to do those things too. But that's not realistic. Uh, we should not like, spend our effort to fight for those scope. Uh, <coughs> as I said, Prevention and the rehabilitation. It's a really big market. Uh, it's really it's enough for TCM to, uh, to thrive. Right? Uh, so, uh, 
这个需求。And the difference here, the industry that I want to talk about the whole the TCM industry 就是中医的产业。In China, the industry is complete. The industry training is complete. 就是在中国的这个中医产业链是完整的。In North America, the industry of TCM is not complete. For example, for example, the training. So in、uh, in Canada, after two years of training of acupuncture, we become a licensed registered acupuncturist, and there's no more, no more like. Formal training. There's no residency. You cannot learn from another master, like in China, right? That's、uh, that's uh, 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 it's not a complete training. 比如说在北美，比如说学完针灸两年之后呢，拿到执照，就没有在系统的学习了，就没有说跟老师系统的那种住院医的学习是没有的。所以这个培训就本身就是不完整的。And also, the supply supply training is not complete in North America. We don't have a supply of herbs, and、uh, we don't have a like in China. There are hospitals, there are clinics, and there are everything. There, there are there are, there are factories、uh, manufacturing those machines. Ah,、uh, 就是在中国有工厂，有这个中药厂，呃，有医院啊。They it's for complete industry, but in China, in North America, they are all absent. 都没有，嗯，在北美都没有。So that's the opportunity. That the, the difference shows the opportunity. So to promote TCM in North America, we want to first of all we want to complete the training, and we want to complete the industry training here. That takes entrepreneurship. Okay, ah, that needs this company and company and spirit. That's the reason I. I I take my acupuncture license here and start to do business in in the TCM field, I, because I really see the opportunity here and the future and the future of TCM <coughs> and the, the patients and also that's the market acceptance. So here、yeah, I think in North America, patients and、uh, other health professionals are very. Acceptive to acupuncture, 就是广大的这个病人和其他的卫生工作者呢，都是对针灸是实际上是很接受的。And not not that much as、uh, as in China, but is I think the acceptance is good. But we don't as long as we don't do something beyond our scope, 就是我们不做我们的这个职业范围之外的事儿。好 ，and the regulations. Uh, in China, it's too complicated the regulations because of history. You know, the TCM has thousands of years history in China, and they only modernize modernized、uh, the TCM practice in、uh, in the last、um, maybe sixty、uh, years, fifty、uh, years. So it's complicated. There are、uh, big TCM hospitals where. They do a lot of Western medicine inside, and there are a lot of、uh, TCM practitioners in the outside their、uh, hospital system,、uh, doing、uh, practicing in the community. They may not have a degree, or they may not even have a, a license, but they they learn from their、uh, ancestor or from their master. And they know how to treat a certain of type of diseases. 就是在中国，除了这个医院体系之外呢，而且在中医院里做了很多西医的事儿。之外呢，还有民间的，还有很多这种呃祖传的，或者是跟跟师徒的这种中医。就在中国是很复杂的，所以 it's very complicated. It's hard to regulate, and it's hard to know who is good, who is bad. That that's not a problem in North America. In North America, because the、uh, the market. The industry is is still empty,、uh, fairly empty. So it's more pure, is very pure. It's more pure. So、uh, that's give like、uh, give us a clean field to build to build on the TCM industry. So I'm very passionate about the TCM 
uh, in future in the North America, and it takes maybe a, a, a several generations of TCM people's effort to achieve the final goal. 就是说需要几代中医人的努力吧。So that's why for TCM people, for like our colleagues here, we need to have an open mind. We need to have a big heart. Uh, Not to compete with each other or compete with the Western medicine, but、uh, for the common for the common goal. <coughs> so, if you want to achieve a big goal, you need a big heart. You know, really, really tolerant, tolerant to many things, to、uh, to many、uh, ideas. So, this is my、uh, business. Uh, business uh, strategy and idea. I want to share with you. I want to share the vision. It's it's not the、uh, recruiting or anything. It's just share my vision. <coughs> I already set up the clinic and、uh, set up the research research developed institute. And my college、uh, has been around for eight years. I set up the college、uh, eight years ago. So in North America. We don't have really have the herb farms to、uh, to harvest、uh, TCM herbs in North America. Very little, maybe the ginseng,、uh, some other herbs. But we don't have complete、uh, supply chain of herbs, and we don't have a complete supply chain of、uh, TCM products like the formula products,、uh, even the moxa, right? Moxa leaves, moxa products. We don't have them,、uh, and also equipments. We don't have. We we have to. I have to buy equipments from China. It's hard. It's expen- expensive, and it's hard to maintain because I don't have the uh, parts uh, uh, in the local. So really, I I want to have some, you know, the products and equipment equipments made in. Local, made in Canada or made in the U.S., and the training too. I, I want to set up an acupuncture acupuncture program in the future. So not just two years of teaching, but with residency. So continuing training after graduation、uh, with masters. We are the residency、uh, delivered in the clinics. So I want to ch- set up a franchise, a chain of clinics. So we are the new、uh, graduates. New graduates can learn from the masters in the clinics because we want. We need really a scope. So for the industry, it's not on, only in,、uh, the, the the elements we missed, but also the scope. The scope of TCM practice in North America is too small. Just individual small clinics. So we want we really want a big big,、uh, major player, to、uh, unite our、uh, practice, so we can have a very much much,、uh, bigger power bigger power to demonstrate the effectiveness of TCM treatment, and also the, the data, you know we we have a bigger,、uh, system we can collect data we can show, uh. Show the government that you see in this in one year we treat so many patients, and that's the outcome. We ha-、uh, that's the prevention we 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 did and help the government save saved a lot of money. That's <coughs> when we can present those data, and we can we can we can get power with from the government. We can negotiate more. So. Yeah, so openness and the tolerance, 就是说开放和包容的这种心态，就是我们在中医的诊所。刚才我讲的就是我们这个规模特别小，太小，没有形成一个规模的效应。形成规模的效应之后呢，我们才能给政府政府拿出这个数据出来，才能显示出中医的这个预防康复的效果和这个为政府省的这些资金啊成本，这些这些资医疗的资源。So we, we need a really a scope,、uh, a business a business model, to have a big scope of 
uh, uh, operation. <coughs> and it's uh, not that hard because we can bring in uh, the successful products, successful experience, successful techniques from China, from Japan, from other uh, countries into North America. We don't want, we don't need to invent much of the techniques or products here, right? We just need, we just need to set up a business business model and learn and bring in. And uh, th of course, we have to meet the different consumer uh, values and habits. Here, I think the consumer values in the North America they want cost effective. 它就是这个性价比很重要，在北美的性价比很重要，cost-effective. They don't. We don't need to talk about all the cultures, the histories, uh, those stuff. But we want to show them the the outcome, and not that uh, with you know reasonable cost. 我们要需要不需要讲很多的文化呀、历史啊。但是我们要给这个北美的病人要看到我们的看到结果，看到效果，然后呢，呃，在合理的这个价格。So, <coughs> so I want to the business of scale, 就是规模化, and we have the uh, electronic medical record. We can show the data to the government, right? And we need a modernized, modernized uh, management, 就是现代化的管理，科学的管理。而不是那种就是是个个体的小作坊式的这种这种经营我们这个这样的话终于永远发展不起来所以 so uh, so I, I think we really need to think about the, 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 the operation, the business model how to promote uh, TCM in, in North America So in my clinic, I focus on acupuncture, mocha therapy and the spine treatment that uh, bring more than enough of patients to my clinic. So this is doing too well. Of course, I'm not a herbalist. So for herbalists, you can also you can do more, much more, much more, uh, like a food therapy or like a health promotion. A lot of uh, good treatment to the patients. So if we can, you know, integrate all those practices uh, together. And everyone will benefit. Everyone will benefit. So that's my uh, my idea and my passion. So usually my passion to uh, create the, the the bright future of TCM in North America, and it's also uh, from an economic perspective, it can be a good uh, financial success uh, too, because it's a a market opportunity. It's an empty market. There's a huge uh, uh, opportunity here. So that's I'm different, really different from other uh, acupuncturists, uh, uh, other acupuncture students uh, here. So I learn acupuncture, get my license because I want to do something <laughs> big. Uh, I have a big dream to in the TCM industry. So I have been talking about this one, this my idea with many people, everyone, and uh, eventually I think it took, uh, I can make it true, make it happen. Yeah. So I really well, welcome you to come to my office to discuss, uh, to share your ideas and then work together. Uh, so it's not about my profit or my uh, uh, success is really about the TCM industry here the everyone's goal okay that ends my presentation today and I really would like to hear your uh, thoughts opinions yeah it is great yeah Dr. Wang and so um yeah, we have a little bit of time left. Yeah, anyone would like to um, um, discuss or yeah, share your thoughts or uh, any question, then uh, yeah, you can unmute yourself, uh, you know, on audio 
if you like. Yeah, to uh, yeah. yeah for the question, the, the, the difference yeah. between moxa and the infrared heating is uh, it's quite different because for uh, TCM, I think it should be outcome based. When you use moxa on the patients, comparing with the infrared lamp, they can feel the difference. I don't, I'm not sure why. Maybe because the moxa leaf has some medicinal effect. Yes, it's IE or the Yao Xing. But they can be more than that, but they can feel the difference. They can feel that the, the moxa effect is more, more long lasting and more deep. More, uh, more deep, yeah. The infrared heating is very local. It's very uh, localized. Good. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I I think so too. They they do uh, differently. You know, the uh, PDP lab. Yeah, Shendeng, Aijiu. Actually, Shendeng actually can't be compared. Can't be compared. Of course, they have their good points. I think. But actually, can't be compared. If 你说细的 in details, the differences in details, I might not have to, uh, yeah, uh, you know, into details, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but in general, yeah, I do feel the different. Um, okay, yeah, from Joanne, there are also uh, two questions, and okay, maybe you can, uh, can see from Joanne, like to, oh, the oil, yeah, Joanne, um, you know, was asking the oil, any uh, moxpression oil, Dr. Wang? I don't the, uh, I don't use moxa oil. Some people okay. some practitioners use moxa oil for massage for Twina. Uh, I haven't used moxa oil. But uh, I use mox uh, but I drink moxa tea it's, it tastes really good. Yeah. Again but it's not available here uh, in Canada. So that's why I really uh, want to Maybe someone, some people can can set up a herbal farms. So basically, the uh, Mox version, the the the, uh, the worm, yeah, the 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 eye long, uh, actually uh, import, imported from China, yeah, mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, right. not not probably uh, grown here. Grown here, I know it's too expensive in BC. I see. Yeah. But in some part of North America, when where the land is not that expensive, it's possible. Is it possible to grow some herbs? Yeah. The the moxa tea is, yeah tastes really good. Mm. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually, moxa version the I I yeah I tao yeah very very commonly used in uh, especially in uh, gynecology yeah uh, problems yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 对，还有啊，有时候病人呃，比如说泡脚，也是用艾叶啊、生姜啊，比较暖， right. yeah, warming the uh, channels and uh, yeah, limbs. Yeah, any more uh, questions or discussions or ideas? Yeah, feel free to share. Yeah, on today's topic, yeah, we 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 do see a a a future, yeah, more future. Uh, yeah, that's my vision. Yeah. Actually, very good. So uh, actually, that's why we always, uh, uh, you know, the, the board of the also, uh, association, we always, um, you know, encourage people, you know, yeah, give us um, yeah, ideas and, and more importantly, execute them, execute them. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, so we always, you know, welcoming, you know, people join the, uh, the, the board and, yeah, and communicate with the office. Yeah, um, uh, the, yeah. Once you have, you know, any idea, such as such as one year ago in you know to, uh, in May, you know, yeah, people actually members uh, suggested uh, the you know enrollment, you know, to treat uh, COVID, you know, in early yeah, last April, yeah, April last year. So um, uh, to to so so and and then we did you know write. Uh, send um, a letter, you know, suggesting your know, TCM's benefits for COVID to uh, to the minister, yeah, to the minister of health, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, how they respond, but actually, you know, we 
did stand up to our you know position right and then you know by providing the proof and evidence and you know with the uh, yeah, research okay maybe um a bit more uh, details of moxvision machine you use in your clinic dr one yeah this so is, i just uh, imported uh, imported from machine. china and then uh, uh, those machines because i went back to china to attend some uh, exhibition and I saw those machines, I, see, I think it's, uh, it's good. So I, I thought it's imported from China, those factories. But one, uh, one idea is I plan. I plan to make those machines here because w when the machine is broken, I cannot, you know, I cannot find yeah, the parts. The parts so, are limited. In here. Yeah, yeah. So it's better to, pre to make the machines here. Well, Not that complicated. I see, I see. Yeah. So if um yeah, if anyone or uh, uh Dr. Yim yeah, uh yeah is interested, so maybe you can contact uh, Dr. Wang directly or yeah contact the office. Yeah, I give you more details if you're interested. Yeah, to uh, you know on the machine and yeah, I do think it, it, it's also good. Yeah, yeah, very good. You know, very automatic and uh, designed. Um, uh, you know. The fields, the uh, smoke, that's yeah. very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Good then, good then. So, uh, yeah, so that's it for the day. Yeah, so uh, thank you again, Dr. Uh, Wang Chen. Uh, yeah, we can see, uh, uh, yeah, dedication, you know, on health, um, yeah, personally and, you know, very professionally from clinical medicine to, you know, dietary uh yeah, nutritional you know nursing care tcm education business and so on yeah besides you know what yeah um uh dr wang yeah one wang chen is actually running for the ctcma board member election so yeah we will see is uh he'll be yeah one of the candidates so um Okay, so um, so that's it. Yeah, so I wish uh, everybody, you know, um, yeah, most healthy and happy life, and enjoy the rest of the long weekend, holiday, right? Okay then. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice long weekend, and yeah. see, you, see uh, you next time. Yeah, see, see everybody next time. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, 谢谢大家参与. Yeah, Wang Chen Yizheng. Yeah. 他也竞选下一届管理局的理事大家就可以看到他可以关注一下那我们下次见下次的讲座再见 okay, yeah, See you everyone Bye bye Thank you Dr. Wang yeah, Thank you Dr. Wang Again, Bye bye